Hey, this is Brett and this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon two-door is stock number 24J29. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Wrangler has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's going to get you 20 miles per gallon on the highway, 16 city, for an average of 18 miles per gallon. I am super excited to go over this Jeep today because this is the all new color for 2024, Anvil Clear Coat. It's the only color that was added to the lineup. It has replaced the very popular Sting Gray color. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you like the new Anvil color or if you wish that Jeep would bring Sting Gray back. Anyways, let's start off here. New for 2024 is that they gave all the Rubicons the LED light group that you can see there. LED running lights in the fenders, the halo running lights around the headlights, which are also LEDs, and the fog lights are LEDs as well. I'm gonna turn all those on in the, at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. But that is standard on the Rubicon package. Now new for 2024 is the grill. It's a little bit thinner. Um, it's actually still as thick as it always was, except that they've made this black down here and they made it the painted part skinnier. So it's kind of an optical illusion, but they've also made these grill pieces skinnier as well. This one does have the front trail camera as an option. You get the sport hood with the Rubicon package as well. Me personally, I kind of like the Anvil color better than the Stingray, but that's just me. Um, let me know what you think, like I said in the comments below. BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAKO2 tires. These are LT2 8570R17s. Comes with the all-new redesigned 17-inch painted and polished aluminum wheels. Also new for 2024 is the center caps. Now have the Jeep emblem on there instead of the lettering of Jeep. Get the off-road tread pattern on there. Looks pretty good. Still has these sandals in the shroud there, the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield, but one thing you'll notice is that there is no antenna on this vehicle, at least mounted to the outside of the vehicle. Used to be mounted right there. Now they can put that trail rated badge there. The antenna is now in the windshield. Right there, that orange piece is the antenna, and the windshields are now all the Corning Gorilla Glass, so they're supposed to be a lot stronger than the old windshields. T50 on the door hinges there. That's to get the doors off with the Torx 50 bit. And we did a video on how to take your doors off your Jeep Wrangler. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Rock rails standard on the Rubicon package. Here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but um, most of it. Anyways, 2024 Wrangler two door Rubicon Anvil clear coat. Uh, paint coat is PDS, if you were wondering. Black interior color. Now, I'm going to go out on the limb there and say that this is charcoal. You let me know what you think in the comments, if it's black or charcoal. I think it's, like, that's black. That's charcoal. Anyways. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. Uh, the big thing for 2024 is that they now come with the, the Rubicons now come with the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle. They used to be a partial full float. Uh, the full floating rear axle gives you the capability of towing 5,000 pounds on the four doors with the 410 axle ratio, um, which I found that on mo one of Motor Trend's websites. Uh, Jeep doesn't really tell us too much on how to get the full towing package um, for that 5,000 pounds, but uh, Motor Trend thankfully was told by Jeep and they let us all know. Anyways, uh, Interior features, you connect five with the 12.3 inch standard uh, radio on all the 2024 Wranglers, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, and Sirius XM. Once again, everything here is your standard equipment on the Rubicon. And then the optional equipment starts with the Anvil Clear Coat, which is 595. I think the convenience group out of all these uh, groups is the, probably the best value, 995 bucks for heated seats and heated steering wheel and remote start. Technology group is 2295 Alpine Premium Sound, HD radio, 
GPS navigation system, connected trail and traffic services, the Uconnect 5 nav with the 12.3 inch touchscreen display. Basically, it's just this radio with nav. Um, and then the integrated voice command and integrated off-road camera. So the technology group gives you that off-road camera as well. That's pretty interesting. The eight-speed automatic transmission gives you the select speed control and the adaptive cruise control, all included in that $4,500 option. The black three-piece hardtop is $1,495, and the 17 by 7.5 inch machine wheels with black pockets is $1,095. So the total MSRP on this one is $58,165 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular vehicle in the upper right-hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website. So click that and get all your pricing, rebates, and incentives. Three-year 36 bumper bumper, five-year 60 powertrain, and then you get your fuel economy there, 16 city, 20 highway, 18 combined, four and seven for fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating and smog rating. And it's not really rated for the safety ratings yet except the three-star rollover. We'll get to the rest of the interior in just a second. And uh, four-wheel disc brakes on the Wranglers. LED tail lamps are also standard now with the Rubicon package. And you get the towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You get the red tow hooks, you get the red shocks underneath there with the Rubicon package as well. Matching spare tire and wheel, enter and go system. This one does have the Alpine premium sound system and you get the subwoofer in the floor back here. This seat can come out. And we did a demo on how to take this seat out. First, you gotta get your front hardtop piece case out of there. But this kind of goes up like so. Then you can pull that bar and then get it out of there like that. Um, like I said, we did a demo on how to take that seat out. If you wanna check that out, that's linked in the description below. And then you can take these hardtop pieces off. Four bolts on each side, two quick disconnects. They changed where to put the disconnects uh, from the old jails, but uh, that's the only thing that's different. We did a video on that as well, how to take your doors, your top off of your two-door Wrangler that's linked in the description. Seven slots on the back tailgate. You get the jail badge with the two-door, four-door, and uh, wheelbase and overall length, as well as the water fording capabilities where it was built and where it was designed or developed in, I should say. I like the uh, black hard top, especially on the anvil color with the black fenders. I think it looks really good. I'm sure the color matched ones would look good as well. You get the heated mirrors, the enter and go system. So you just have to have the key fob in your pocket. It'll automatically unlock, which is pretty nice. You get these standard manual adjust bucket seats in the front, Rubicon stitched into the backrest, red stitching throughout. Uh, I like the material, it seems very durable. Um, lumbar driver seat height adjuster. So uh, you can get power seats in the Rubicons, but you gotta get the leather interior to get those power seats. So you can't get cloth power seats. Factory floor mats, this badge is new for 2024 with the Jeep Wrangler and Rubic uh, Gladiator back to back. Auto headlamps, new for 2024, as well as the dash material. It's kind of like a Gore-Tex uh, rubber type material. Kind of see that in the Rebel seats sometime. Uh, power locks, power mirrors. Take a quick look at the instrument cluster and the radio. You get the seven inch LCD display. You get the Rubicon animation at the beginning there. Only 12 miles on this vehicle. Digital speedometer, compass display, and you can change those corners to read whatever you want. Uh, the material on the steering wheel is different for 2024. Um, it's really a soft touch leather. I, I really like it. If you've watched any of my other Wrangler videos, I've commented on it. Um, I could tell right away the first time I got in at 2024 that it was different. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left and audio controls on the back of that steering wheel. So the standard radio now is the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch radio. And this one does have the factory navigation, which we saw on the window sticker there. So what's nice is you can have dual screens here with your radio as well as your navigation, or you can change those widgets out uh, to basically put 
whatever you want there so you can add different screens basically click in that if you want your seats and heated steering wheel controls you could do that so that it's a quick touch and you could like take this away put that there whatever you want up here is it's all customizable which is really cool you get am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities and uh, you also get bluetooth augs and usb hookups of course you get your vehicle settings here you can check out your front camera your back camera which is pretty cool and those are dynamic grid lines so as i turn that steering wheel you can kind of see where you're going to be going in the future uh, which is nice especially if you're on a trail or something and you don't want to hit rocks uh, it's nice to be able to see where you're going to be going in the future you also can clean that camera like so which is pretty neat and then the uh, back camera is crystal clear as well you get the center line which lines right up with your receiver hitch which is great to hook up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time and then you get all your different apps here i'm going to show you the off-road pages first because they're kind of cool you get the steering angle which those wheels turn as you turn the steering wheel you get the sway bar if it's connected or disconnected front axle and rear axle if it's locked or unlocked and the transfer case if it's locked or unlocked get your accessory gauges pitch and roll and then you can check out the front camera again you also get latitude longitude and altitude on there so a lot of cool stuff that you can do with that and once again here are all the apps including android auto apple carplay there your comfort nav phone vehicle you can do all your settings here and um, the system and then other so I'm not going to go through all those. If you ever want me to go through those, let me know. I can go through anything you guys want. Uh, you get the dual coin holders up here, coin trays, I guess you could say. This is new. This is redesigned because the radio is wider. Um, you don't get the air vents on the sides. The air vents are now below the radio, and they're a little bit smaller. They used to be a circle vents like that. Down here, everything from here down, though, is the same as the 2023, so that was not redesigned. Push button start, volume tune, climate, and um, heated seats, heated steering wheel controls there. Start, stop, stability control, speed select, crawl control. Down here is your USB, USB-C, AUX jack, front and rear park, or I'm sorry, front and rear locking axles, or just the rear sway bar disconnect. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. Those off-road capabilities are specific to the Rubicon package um, which makes this package more because there's more technology there's more uh, parts there's there's more setup uh, integration with the off-road pages and everything so there's just a lot more that goes into a rubicon than a normal wrangler um, so that's why they're usually more and you get off-road plus mode which is pretty cool four auxiliary upfit switches four by four shifter eight speed automatic transmission you get a red release right there as well as the jeep logo keyless entry with remote start get the flipper key on there nice chunky key fobs and they go right into the cup holders there nicely there's a, another look at that dash trim and the other new thing for 2024 is this center stack here the interior lights they used to be just a big cluster right there now they're spread out probably more ergonomic to the uh, passengers of the vehicle more useful but i think they had to change those because they added side curtain airbags on the 2024 wranglers and i think they had to redesign everything the speakers are a little bit differently shaped and everything too um, probably to accommodate for those side curtain airbags which i applaud jeep for finally putting side curtain airbags in the wrangler that's a great thing auto dimming mirror Assist and SOS buttons, as well as your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. And you get the removable hardtop pieces, which they come off just like they always have. What I'm going to do now is turn on all the lights. And we're going to turn off the lights in the picture studio. And do a final walk around here with all the lights on. And the picture studio lights off. I'll show you under the hood real quick as well. The 3.6 liter star v6 engine everything that is maintenance wise is in yellow and uh yeah three six been a pretty good v uh, engine for the wranglers and jeep chrysler dodge ram in general
There's the emissions sticker. All right, like I said, I'm gonna go around one more time with all the lights on. I'm gonna turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright these LED lights are. Give me one second. All right, you can see just how bright they are. So standard on the Rubicon for 2024 is the LED light group. So if you're looking at a Rubicon that from 2023, maybe you're comparing new to new or new to used, uh, 2024 standard is the LED lights and you can see just how bright they are. I think that's a huge safety feature. You include the side curtain airbags with those LED lights and I think the smart choice would be the 2024 uh, just because that stuff's all standard, a lot more safe than a 2023 that doesn't have the LED light groups. I know you can always customize your Wrangler to get LED lights and everything. Um, they're pretty easy to swap out and there's a lot of manufacturers for LED lights. Even the factory ones are pretty accessible. So uh, just something to think about. Anyways, I really appreciate you checking out the video today and I hope from this HD video you've been able to verify the options, looks, and styling of this particular Wrangler inside and out. And if you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube, almost 9,000 videos and almost 500 Wrangler videos on there. So definitely check us out. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done, all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off your two-door Jeep Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon in Anvil Clearcoat. Thanks again for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.